Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. All right, we're now live at PrisonPlanet.tv. Got about 51 and a half minutes left in this Friday transmission. Your call's coming up and a recap of the top financial news and some uh, new big developments I'm here looking at. For the last two hours, we've been talking to Cynthia, and uh, that, again, is not her name. She is a uh, research scientist, and uh, she... Uh, has uh, worked for uh, in, in, in a big pharma in um, biotech uh, engineering for vaccines and other drugs and hi- at high level for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and uh, for those that are watching later on the internet at prisonplanet.tv you can uh, go back into the archives and hear the last two hours it's been nothing short but amazing but I, I continue to have to hold her longer uh, because uh, she just keeps bringing up such important information. Now, it is admitted that they are creating animal-human uh, cross-species clones, but they claim in the media they're, they're killing them at different embryonic phases, uh, and they w- are claiming that they can legally do this because they're not completely human. And then going back over 10 years ago, major British papers and others reported that quietly biotech firms, especially in China, Hong Kong, South Korea, where there's really no control, uh, they have uh, been creating animal-human hybrids in the embryonic phase and implanting them in cows. They're part part bovine, uh, or they have genetic traits of cows, so that they're not rejected. And also they can grow the humanoids up larger in utero in the cow. Now, that's all in the medical literature. I mean, that's going on. And then, you know, they announced, oh, hey, decades ago we really created human clones, embryonic form. You know, cloning's been going on a long time. They just announced it like they were talking about motor oil prices or the price of milk. You're just very nonchalant. So a lot of this is going on. Human hybrids with spiders, with monkeys, with apes, uh, with uh, and, 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 and pigs, and, and just on and on and on to get heart valves out of the pigs that look almost, you know, I mean, visibly look like a pig but have a lot of human traits so that the heart valves won't be rejected. The point is this can give rise to a lot of super viruses, mutations, that can get into bacteria, they spread. I mean, there's just endless, endless Pandora's box in all this as they play Russian roulette. Uh, in the last few minutes we had, you were bringing up a colleague who quit. You talk about so many quitting. You know, you leaving Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation recently because you couldn't handle it morally. Um, and you left Big Pharma going there thinking you could, you know, th- that this would be something moral. So it's this quest, leaving, and, and your friend leaving going into real estate because of working with, a, I guess, a Chinese firm or Chinese doctor dealing with uh, babies. And, and in China is, with the, with the late-term abortions and with reports of people that have more than one child, grabbing the children uh, being used uh, in all of this in cosmetics, rendered flesh of dead prisoners and others being used in cosmetics. So the dehumanization really getting bad. So spend a few minutes on that. Well, um, yeah, you're talking about chimeras. And that's one reason I left the lab and uh, started working uh, more, you know, in the administrative side because, Basically, they were genetically altering mice. There's things called skid mice that have lupus and, you know, just bizarre things like that. So there's all this human diseases and animals, and I just started like, no, I don't want to be who knows, you know, how how I could pick that stuff up. So I just kind of left the lab and, and went, you know, into the more clinical trials part for, you know, away from... Let me interrupt again. Do you ever hear about other colleagues or other people where there's bizarre illnesses? I mean, I know in Huntsville they were testing stuff illegally on the inmates, and then they got a bunch of guards sick and some died. That even came out in some Texas papers about seven, eight years ago. I mean, do you ever hear about stuff like that? Yes, and um, I'll tell you about the Chinese incident. Um, A friend of a friend of mine, and I had been talking to her about some different lab equipment that had alarms, you know, if the temperature dropped or blah, blah, blah. And so... Um, one day I called up and I said, well, where's Janet? And she goes, well, she quit. And I said, well, why? And she was working with a Chinese doctor who was still working. Uh, this was on the East Coast at a really big hospital out there. And he was still had very close ties to the Chinese government and Chinese researchers. And my friend was doing fertility research, you know, where you 
jam the, you know, for people jam the sperm right into the egg, you know, if it can't swim or, you know, things like that. The gene gun. Yeah, and it's called ICSI is what it is. And there's a reason you don't put non-swimming sperm into an egg because then other kids had cystic fibrosis. But um, anyway, uh, so she quit. And I'm like, what is she doing? And she's like, she's selling like Century 21 real estate. And I'm like, what? You know, she was like this really big scientist. And the vagaries I got was that the Chinese scientist she was working with in Washington, D.C., was working with Chinese scientists and basically, China can do abortions on women up until the, you know, pretty much delivery. And they were taking in female fetuses. Um, you know, women are born with all the eggs we're going to have in our lifetime in the ovaries. But they don't really develop into eggs until we hit puberty. But they're all, like, they're the little pre-eggs. They were harvesting all of those and doing all sorts of genetic, you know, experiments on that and, maturing them up and using them for, basically they're using the parts of the fetus to do all this testing on. And what really freaked her out is they had, you know, you're talking about cows and fetuses and stuff like that. They, I mean, we're talking like 15 years ago, so who knows where they are now. But they had like living fetuses in tanks that they had genetically, you know, kind of grown up like horses and pigs and things like that. And they were, they were you know, basically having all these little things outside the womb growing in tanks, and it was gross, you know, because they'd be gulping whatever fluid they were in and things like that. But okay, I lied, I lied, I'm not letting you go. We read blurbs about this, this has been in the mainstream news, but just a mention here, a mention there. You're saying at a laboratory in D.C., 15 years ago, or in the early 1990s, Jesus, I can't handle this, and I'm sorry, I'm not using the Lord's name in vain, I'm crying out to Jesus. I can't handle it anymore. Obviously, she couldn't describe little babies gulping in tanks. Now, now this has all been admitted, but they never show it to anybody. Describe this hellish thing you're talking about. Actually, they were animal fetuses. She didn't. She, she was so freaked out. She wouldn't even tell my other friend why she was so freaked out. She would only. But you said it was in relation with, to human genetics. Yeah, basically. That's how they're getting around it. These were were these chimeras. Right. And, oh, um, they were chimeras. You're saying they were chimeras? No, these were, they could have been chimeras, but they were just practicing growing fetuses up like with animals in, in tanks without using, you know, the female uterus. Exitutal tanks, yeah. Yeah. And, oh, but they were harvesting these eggs, and, you know, they're, and on some level, you can't eat, really use those for, uh, you know, like fertility, like if somebody needs an egg surrogate or something like that. But they were experimenting on ways of maturing them up, so they would have all this material. Putting them into hormone that. baths and things like that? Yeah, and I don't, who knows what else they were sticking them in, you know. Oh, God. But, they were, but she was just freaked out at the, you know, what, how they were harvesting them, what late stage, you know, babies, basically, you know, if they're about to be, you know, so harvesting human babies for their parts to then do this research, uh, and then obviously trying to test how to keep them alive. Uh, now, 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 what else uh, along these 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 Dr. Maru lines did you ever run into or hear about? Um, well, you know, sort of basically that, and it was kind of like what what were they? Why? I mean, China has more than enough people. <laughs> why are they trying to grow? you know, fetuses or do all this genetic engineering with eggs, you know, and, you know, if they have an unlimited supply of eggs, you don't have to harvest them from an adult woman. You can just go straight to the fetus, and if you can mature them up, then you can take these eggs and inject whatever genetic structures or materials or, you know, DNA into them and then maybe grow them up in a surrogate or grow them up in a tank. Yeah. Well, no, that's what's admitted, is they say chimera uh, embryos for implantation in host mammals. Mm -hmm. But I guess what she's talking about is skipping using a cow or a pig as a host to gestate, uh, but to just go straight to tanks. Right. And they were, 
um, you know, in fact, my friend saw the the little film. I should ask. I should call her up and ask her where that film was that she saw that basically shows them growing up like horses. And she said she was totally grossed out because, you know, here's these little fetuses and tanks. It was like the X-Files, you know, and they, you know, they're alive, so they're moving around. And, and Cynthia, like this is the problem. Imagine what's going on in the underground bases and in the secret black op operations of what corporations are doing. And it's huge mm -hmm. because in the mid-'80s they tried to hire my dad and all the other, you know, top-of-the-class Baylor uh, dentist and then oral surgeons for a secret government project, and, 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 and remember my dad saying, look, they're trying to hire a bunch of people, and they say it's a huge project, but it's secret, and so if I sign on, I'm not even sure what it is, but it's cybernetics, and it's not like my dad got chosen to be some super astronaut or something. It was they were getting a lot of the top people, you know, you know, all the trying to hire them, and, and, and he said no because they didn't want to, uh, we didn't want to move to Maryland, but my God, imagine how big this really is.